Shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much we're going to go into America is Mount Seir. And that's pretty much what the lesson is going to be titled as. This place called America is Mount Seir. It's modern day Mount Seir. So we're going to go and look at ancient Mount Seir. And then we're going to also go into this place called America, which is modern day Mount Seir. All right. Because you got a lot of people that believe that America is not Mount Seir. Well, we're going to we're going to prove that and we're going to show you. All right. So, you know, in the scriptures, Esau's possession was the land of Mount Seir in the ancient ancient uh, in the ancient world. Right. But America, which is modern day Egypt, modern day Rome, which is that little horn in Daniel seven. And actually, I'm going to get that out, too, actually, um, Lord willing, so I won't forget. We're going to get that Daniel 7 out, too, going into the little horn. All right. And um, get the KJV version. <clears throat> and we're going to go into that little horn as well. So let me get that out. Um, it's a lucky on that. Cause I forgot. Uh, I think I went too far up. Here it is, verse eight, and Salaki on that. All right. <clears throat> so, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. <clears throat> this is uh, Genesis thirty-six and eight. It says, "Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir." All right. Now, in this time in the scriptures. Uh, Mount Seir was, was the city of Petra, which is called the city of Petra. All right. It's also, they call it, uh, the, they also call it the Row city, I believe the Row city, but the city of Petra is Mount Seir, ancient Mount Seir, which is the, uh, Row city. All right. But it says, thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. And Esau is the so-called white man. All right. That's who Esau is. Esau Edom. It says, thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, right? Now, where Edom means red, because these so-called white people are different shades of red. There's no such thing as white people, or there's no such thing as black people, because the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and American Indians are different shades of brown. There's no such thing as white people or black people, all right? So it says that these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So Mount Seir, if you don't know what Mount Seir is, we're going to get it out right now. This is ancient Mount Seir, which is the city of Petra. All right. It says famous for its rocks cut archure, uh, uh, arch architecture, Salakia. It says in water condult system, it says Petra is also called the Rose City because of the color of the stone from which it is carved. So when you look at Mount Seir, this is Mount Seir right here. All right. Which they call the city of Petra, which is Mount Seir. And you can look this up. You know, people go there all the time, you know, to you know, go there, tours, things like that. But this is Mount Seir. All right. So the scripture that we were reading about in Genesis 36 and 8 is going into Mount Seir. So that's Mount Seir, ancient Mount Seir. All right. But modern day, modern day Mount Seir is this place called America. Modern means present. All right. And this present time we're in right now is modern day Mount Seir. All right. Deuteronomy 2 and 5. It says, meddle not with them, for I will not give you I for I now would for I will not give you their land Salakia no not so much as a foot breath because I because I have given Mount Seir onto Esau for a possession and Mount Seir is the land that the Lord gave Esau as a possession now this place called America goes into that little horn which is going into America being that little horn all right Read it right here. This is Daniel 7 and 8. It says, I considered the horns and behold, there came up 
among them a little horn. This is talking about America, which is Babylon the Great. All right. Because ancient Rome did fall, but it was rebuilt again here in this place called America. You know, also going into the Renaissance because the word Renaissance, it means rebirth. All right. It says before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up. Right. Plucked up by the roots. It says, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man and a mount speaking great things. And we know when you read, you know, the main point that I'm getting into is the little horn. All right. That's going into America. That's talking about America. All right. Which is Babylon the Great. Also, um, Mount Seir. Now, this is ancient Mount Seir. So when you look at Washington, D.C., doesn't it look? Look at that. <clears throat> this is this is Washington, D.C. in America. Now, you see how the 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 shape is, how the act, the act, the ant, the arc, the architecture is. So like the architecture of it, you see it. It's in a pyramid. It has the stands. Now, look at the city of Petra, which is ancient Mount Seir. Looks very similar, right? See, looks very similar, similar. All right. See that? So we know that, you know, the main point, we know that America is modern day Mount Seir. All right. Joshua 24, 4, it says, and I gave unto Isaac. I mean, yeah, for, it says, and I gave unto Isaac, Jacob, because Jake, uh, Isaac was the father of Jacob. Right. It says, and I gave unto Isaac, Jacob and Esau, because Jacob and Esau was the sons of Isaac, right? Going back to Father Abraham, right? It says, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir, see, to possess it. And this is Mount Seir, all right? Ancient Mount Seir. Now, America is modern day Mount Seir, all right? It says to possess it, but Jacob and his children went down into Egypt because that's what happened, all right? Esau, the Lord gave Esau Mount Seir as a possession of land where they dwelt, right? But it also talks about going into it right here. See, it says Petra is a famous archaeological site in Jordan's southwestern desert, right? It says dating to around 300 BC. It was the capital of the Nabatean kingdom. Right. Access via a narrow canyon called al Sikh, Right. It says it contains tombs and in and, 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 and temples carved into pink stone cliffs. Right. Earring in its nickname, the Rose City. So, again, this is ancient Mount Seir. And this is modern day Mount Seir, which is America. And America, which is Babylon the Great. Also, modern day Rome, modern day Egypt and modern day Mount Seir is going to be destroyed according to prophecy. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, and this is what prophet, prophet, prophet Ezekiel is saying. This is what he said right here. It says, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man. This is what the Lord said unto Ezekiel. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Now, in this modern day time. The men of the Lord are prophesying against it. And those men are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. What is a prophet? A prophet is a seer. A man of the Lord that prophesied the things that are due to come before time. That's a prophet. Right? Verse 3, it says, And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, O Mount Seir. Right? This is America. I am against thee, and I will stretch out my mine hand against thee, and I will make thee desolate. The Lord is going to destroy America, which is Babylon the Great, right? Modern day Egypt, modern day Rome, and also modern day Mount Seir. The Lord's going to destroy it because it's wicked. It says, and I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. So America is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. That's how the Lord is going to, that's how the Lord is going to make it desolate. It's going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. All right. Because the Lord said that he already, he's not going to clean the earth with water. He did that already at the time of Noah. Now, this time, the Lord is going to cleanse, going to make a cleansing with fire. All right. So this place, have, there has to be a cleansing. So Yahweh Shai can 
can uh, set his kingdom on a planet Earth. Because Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, he's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is going to be established on the earth. So before the Lord can do that, he has to do a cleansing first. And that's what's going to happen to this place called America, which is uh, modern day Mount, Mount Seir. It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Verse 5, because thou has had a perpetual, for thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, it says in the time that their iniquity had an end. So the Lord is going to destroy this place called America, man. Verse six, it says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Sitteth thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Verse seven, thus will I make mouse here. See, this place called America right now. This prophecy hasn't came yet, right? Because you got people that believe, well, that's that's the Old Testament. That happened in that time. No, this prophecy hasn't been fulfilled yet, all right? It says, thus will I make Mount Seir, which is America, right, most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Verse 8, and I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers. It says, shall they fall that are slain with the sword and they're going to be destroyed. Verse 9, and I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return. Right? Because Esau believes that after World War III he's going to rule. But no, the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to rule. And he's going to destroy Esau's rulership. Esau's kingdom is going to be destroyed. All right? It says, I'll make thee, I will make thee perpetual perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return and ye shall know that i am the lord so the lord is going to do that mount seir is this place called america now this is ancient mount seir which is the city of petra all right but again it's exactly the same exactly the same and you can look at other pictures i'm not making this up this is out this is the capital out in uh, washington dc and if you look at it it looks just like the city of Petra, you know? So Mount Seir is this place called America, all right? So Lord wants us to set a fine. Till next time I say, Shalom.